All right, this is Life of Pepe, the game, released in uh, 2022, coming up on its two-year anniversary. So we are the developers of this game. We thought that we would uh, do a little playthrough to show you what it's all about. So I'm Joe. I'm Matt. And we're going to get into it. Okay, we got our three save files here. I'm going to start by erasing one so we can start fresh. I think you have to do this, you're player one. Okay, which one? Just the first yeah, one? Yeah, let's do the first one. This is our first ever game, released on Steam. Yep, <laughs> there we go. Okay, here it is. So, that purple guy, that's uh, Pepe. Matt is playing I'm controlling him right now. Let's see. So we have to pause it to bring in player two. Yep, there's Dante. So this is the very first world. We got a handy tutorial scroll there that will not go away. <laughs> to interact, interact with, with the totem. totem. This is the totem. It's the only thing with a face on it in this world, so it's got to be the thing. Welcome to life, Dante. I hope you have many grand adventures. I am the totem sage. Talk to me again to learn how to play. Your food, water, and health meters are at the top of the screen. If anyone runs out, you will die. Keep talking to me for more tips. So I'm gonna go out and gather some food. I'm thirsty, I'm gonna take a little sip. You'll come back from dying, but it will deplete your resources and you will lose any items you're holding. All right, so some helpful tips there. for uh, some food here this is this is a primary food source in life of Pepe here my my blue guy is standing next to don't pick them when they look like lemons they're not lemons <laughs> <laughs> perfectly ripe when they're round bags. oh here we go it might even say that in one of these uh, hold the pickup button when near a pond to collect water yeah. all right we got that so I'm gonna eat one of my berries I gather Pick up round ripe berries by holding the pickup of it near a bush. So yeah, I guess the hint there was the round berries. Yeah, here I gotta read. Okay, I'll do the next uh, tip here. When holding food or water, hold the use button to eat or drink. They do have handy dandy uh, control map here if you forget. Originally this was designed to be played on a single keyboard, so you only need one keyboard to play side by side okay I'm gonna start gathering some resources oh, I guess we should probably reveal that each player has two item slots certain items can stack up to ten in the same slot okay, I just uh, <laughs> good drink animation credit goes to Matt for these great character animations we got Hold the interact button to mine stone or lumber. Don't destroy trees, and they'll grow back. Oh, that's a useful little hint. So yeah, you can hit the trees. They look a little funny. Everything in this world is just a little off. It's supposed to be kind of like an alien planet. Craft items from your menu once you mine enough resources. All right, now we're really, really getting somewhere. All right, so uh, I guess I'll build the ax. Okay, I've got only two item slots, so I gotta drop something to pick this up. Here we go. Use the interact this. button to make menu selections. Press D to access page two of your menu. Oh yeah, that was something we thought might be useful. We put a little page number at the top, a little one, but we thought maybe that wasn't enough because there's two pages in this crafting menu. It shows more options. Yeah, you never know uh, what you think is going to be intuitive and then it's not when somebody else plays it. This, uh, this, was a, this was a real triumph too, like getting, being able to be behind a tree and then like in front of another tree. Like the, 
the layering on our art. That was very hard to do, but we figured it out. All right, we've got a lot of resources, so let's get another item here. A shovel, is that what you need? Hold right. up, we should just go see. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry for the spoilers. <laughs> So if you do some exploring in this first little world, you'll see it's all walled off, except for their one little gate, the toll booth. <laughs> so if you interact with this guy, he says what you need to lead the level. So in this one, if you build an axe and a fishing rod, you can go through here. So Joe built the axe. And then we just need a fishing rod. So you can look for that in the crafting menu. It's just called the rod <laughs> to save space. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hey. Okay. Almost. <laughs> I did the same thing. Alright, why don't you showcase the fishing uh fishing, fishing rod. mechanic, yeah. Gotta throw it in some water. And then wait patiently. Oh, there you go. And then as you, soon as you see the right. line move, you can release the use button and it'll pull off a fish. <laughs> the, oh, the water tried to refill itself, yeah. but the totem was there. And I think we made it so that the totem could never be submerged, so it just deleted the water. Kind of like uh, grows over time. It's like a, it doesn't rain in this world, but it's kind of like a groundwater coming up from the deep, I guess. Cool. Thank you. Okay, last it's a co op game, so <laughs> we just passed the resource. And drop in, drop out. We should probably showcase that. Anytime that your friend isn't around anymore, you can just drop out that second player and play as a. Just a giant widescreen. It's kind of <laughs> nice. You can see everything. <laughs> All right, come, you can come back in. Oh, sorry, <laughs> you press pause. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> then I'm back, and I keep my stats and my items and stuff in the player two slot. Okay, cool. Go through the toll booth to explore new lands. So the axe lets you mine faster. I think it does three per hit. Collects three re so, of the, whatever resource you hit. So if you hit. Three. Tree. Our indi resource indicator is shared. It's at the top. So, like the logs indicate how much wood you have, and then the stone is the stone. This is telling us use the shovel to dig holes. I'm gonna get the shovel right now. Showcase a little, a little digging here. <laughs> this one maybe should have come a little bit earlier. <laughs> This one talks about your f food, water, and health meters are at the top of the screen. Oh, no, that that was. That was at the start. I think oh, did we go back now. through? Yeah, you're back on okay. the loop. So it just loops, so we've uncovered every hint there is. Okay, I think we're ready. Ready for the next world. Let's get out of here. Let's go. So we've now accomplished the toll booth condition. So you got to wait for your friend to arrive. Talk to the guy. And then you go together to brave new oh. world. New world. Oh, what's that? There it is. What is that? Look at that little guy. Here's some food, by the way. Oh yeah, I need to eat. Can't forget to take care of yourself. <coughs> oh, we found the totem already. Yeah, that was easy. Do we make him randomly spawn, or is he just always here? Um, on this one, I think he's always here. Find Bill to buy his... Advanced items. His menu has three pages. <laughs> For items that need to be built, press use to plan where to build and then interact to build. Building a house provides you with a safe respawn point if you die. Alright, oh, it just grew up. Yeah, I actually witnessed that happen. <laughs> There's another one. So oh, yeah, you can check the stats on the, the animals here, the dogs. See this one, age 17, female, health 16. I found Bill. And Bill nice. has his own Cuboa companion. This animal's the Cuboa. I think the totem will tell you that eventually, or you'll just have to figure it out. Okay. Hello, what would you like to buy? 
So what do you think uh, we start out with? Save up for the house, first of all. You can also buy a chair, chest, saddle, a fence, and a gate, and a barrel, a bed, and a crook. Lots of options. I think we just save up for the house first. Okay, so we need 50 wood and 50 stones. So let's get after that, uh, that wood. I'm going to buy an axe to speed things up. Okay, I also have an axe. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be a little careful with your tree resources, huh? Cause those run out. It's yeah, kinda, it's a <coughs> sort of a little, little message in sustainable agroforestry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're hitting rocks, but we need the trees. So there's a piece of grass. You can hit the grass too, but it doesn't give you anything. Nice sound effect, though. <laughs> Alright, see if you can find Bill again. Kay. We got 50 of each now. Oh, I found another toll booth. Talk to him. So if you defeat 15 Grumlings, build one spear and five pebbles, you can go through there. So that's our mission. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Bill. Okay, I'm gonna buy a house. Big purchase. <laughs> all right, we're all the way down to three wood. All right, so here's our house. You get this little memo, and then you hold it out. Let's see. And then that's kind of like you're planning where to put it. Oh, we can't build over that, that uh, bush that's there. Flashes when you can't build. Can't build over that grass. Found another toll booth. You can see it, he says. So this one, you need to build a home, bed, fence, gate, barrel, chest, and chair. So almost everything Bill offers, you have to buy one of and then build it. Should we build the house up in this corner here, you think? Um, or where do you want it? You want to buy some let's water? Let's put it by water, yeah. Huh, there's no water over here on the west side of the island. Oh, here's some. I guess we just build it right by that toll booth. Is that okay with you? The left side? Um, yeah, just make sure there's some space beneath it for, for building fences and gates and stuff. Alright, let's put it up here, I guess. Okay. Oh. Alright, building time. Here's our house. Okay, so now if I talk to him, it says 101 home built. So Go we're on in. our way. Check it out. Nice rug. <laughs> nice orange walls. A lot of a lot of interior space to be honest. <laughs> it's deceiving how big it is. It's bigger on the inside than it looks. <laughs> yeah, when you're in here, you're safe. And this is the the final toll booth if you wanna go go west. He says if you tames one Huboa buy one saddle, buy one crook, you can go through here. So again, the mysterious Hubo is a reference. Oh, this, that's good to know. Interact with the doormat to leave the house. Because you can't see the door once you enter. Yeah, it's like kind of like a... All you can see is the doormat. So yeah. just interact with that and you can leave. <laughs> Some items can only be built inside a house. And then, oh, we'll get to this, but when we buy a chest, you can use the pick up and drop buttons to put things in chests. You have two item slots and there's a drop button and a pick up for each one. So chests are really useful because then you can, ha you have a place to store your items that you're not currently using. Instead of just putting them on the ground like that. <laughs> Who put the shovel oh, there? Could you grab that? I was actually going to get some trees planted by our house. So this is the scythe item. I'm going to purchase one or build one. This is my crafting menu. So I picked this up. I'm going to go hit this tree with it. Some seed bags. Let's maybe get oh. these seeds planted. And then oh, we'll I found the house. Have a bit of some room. Okay, I've got two tree seeds in my hand. All I right. have to leave the axe sitting there because... Oh. I'm gonna make some holes for you to plant the seeds. Maybe you can just have a little orchard next to the house. Okay, I'm gonna drop seed in there. Tree starts to grow. 
How many you just got two? Just two, yeah. Grab some from that tree. Here. Oh. Uh oh. I may have dug out the tree. <laughs> dug out the tree. <laughs> I got a little too ambitious with how close I <laughs> dug. Let's take a look at our homestead, how it's going on. It looks nice. All right, well, that's probably a good uh, wrap-up point for episode one. Built a house, got all the bills meadow, planets and trees. Nice. Any uh, closing words? Huh? Nope. Okay. We'll see you in the next video. Save the game. <laughs>